Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I will do a rebuild about this bike. This bike is an HP2 from BMW. It's an Enduro. There was also a Mega Moto and a Sport. These bikes are quite special for me as I have not only one, this one, I have more of them. I will show you them later. Uh, when I will do the rebuild, I will also show you my other bikes, maybe, or yeah, it depends how you like it and how much effort I should put in, as it's quite new for me. And yeah, about this bike, I can tell you a history. This bike is from South Africa. Um, South Africa is from where I live quite far away as uh, I am living in Austria and Austria is in the middle of Europe so yeah it's a really nice story because you need to think, you know uh, BMW is building these bikes in Berlin and Berlin is in Germany then this was exported from BMW to South Africa to Port Elizabeth to a, a dealer BMW dealer where it was sold to the first owner. Um, the first owner had it for quite a long time. Um, in 2019 or 17, something like that. I think it was 2018, if I remember now right. But the first owner will maybe watch this because he wants to know how this bike will look after I have done something to him um, so yeah uh, then he sold it to a guy uh, he, uh, he was a dealer and he was riding it I think a little bit because it was sold with 17,000 kilometers just roundabout and yeah I am now uh, the first owner in Europe uh, with 23,000 kilometers so this is a quite low number because this bike was built in 2006 or sold in 2006 that's it so uh, it's also a quite high number because one of my uh, HP2s has a, a frame number 256 so it's a quite low number and one of the first bikes what is also it's 2005 registered <clears throat> and this bike was um yeah sold to me by a friend he bought it in belgium from a dealer and he wanted to part it out and sell it in parts uh, so i said to him let's make a deal because i have said to him look there was a nice ba uh, bike in 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 uh netherlands and maybe it's quite nice for you to buy it and then it was a black friday action and this bike was sold for a really low uh, amount and it had a hpm fuel tank now it has a stock one um it has uh, some other hpm stuff on it and here it has a bash plate uh, from turatag it had a, a slip-on from akapovic a header from the gs but also an akapovic um yeah uh, it was from the from the status it was sold and how it is now it's i can say it's rebuild uh, re it's it's nice to rebuild it uh, but it's not the best shape let's say so and this is why i was at the first beginning like ah uh, i think this uh kilometers cannot be real because 23,000 kilometers is a low number. One of my HP2s uh, is an Enduro. I bought it uh, from an owner that was not really doing off-road with it. And you can see it. So on this bike, it's, it, has, uh, it was 47 or something like that, thousand kilometers as I bought it. And it was really looking like new. And this bike was driven let's say 20,000 kilometers only off-road 
because the first owner was living on the ocean and deep directly on the sea so he had from his uh, from his garden to the beach it was like 10 meters so yeah a quite nice place to live uh, because um, so he said also he's only driving or drove it not only on road he was driving it only off road and an enduro was built for this so I'm not like ah no it was written on uh, enduro and off road and I don't like it because it's like buying a 300 uh, TPI 8C. It's normal. They are use it for hard enduro. And when someone is saying no, I don't want to buy it, then why are you buying this bike? You know. Um, if you want to drive on road, you have a mega moto. It's the same bike like this one, just 17 inch wheels and more sportive suspension for the road. So yeah. Let's talk about the history of this bike. Uh, this bike was strange build. I will show you a picture uh, because it was completely modified. And the reason why it was modified, it was so that in 2014 or 13, it, uh, uh, owner, the first owner had an uh, accident, an accident with a baboon and baboon is also the name now of this bike because it's it's like the history of this bike and i like to give my bikes a, a name and this is the baboon so yeah he he hit it uh, he hit the baboon had a big crash uh the bike was let's say uh in, not in the best shape uh, there was also in a forum in South Africa a uh, uh, discussion about this because there were a few riders riding on this on this road and the baboon just yeah ran out and wanted to protect his property and yeah he hit the of the HP2 hit the baboon so yeah the baboon was killed and the HP2 was also uh, not amused about this crash so then the bike uh, the first owner uh, lucky him he was not really insured so uh, the, uh, the bike came to Volker Volker is in Port Elizabeth where the bike came from uh, a builder that is restoring and changing bikes uh, mainly BMW old 212 bikes but he's, all, he's also an HP2 owner and the first owner was knowing this guy because they were friends and so Volker uh, rebuilt it like in the old school way so the bike was a HP2 but it was looking like an old GS Dakar bike and I think it, it was not a, 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 stra a, a, a strange build Let's say so it was something different because mainly the HP2 owners want to keep it in original and want to keep it in a safe place and some crazy guys like me or some others uh, but there are not many of them they are riding it off-road and yeah um, so yeah he rebuilt it and there were on the on the right side on the well the valve cover was crashed and the uh, the head was was okay but it needed some machining uh, just to put the screw back in because it was yeah, pulled it out and so this needed to be repaired and yeah I have I had a check already uh, before I wanted to start the engine um if this was okay and yeah this was great done i can say nothing nothing to worry and also i built i bought this bike and it was not starting so i didn't know how is the status also my friend from germany um uh, he he was also trying to start it but it was not possible uh, and it was just only a small issue because on the fuel pump you have a fuel control unit and an electronic module i will show you later uh, that was just yeah it was just broken 
uh, because it was long time staying on different places, so it's nothing. It's not a big deal, let's say so. And I I, I managed it. I put all, all uh, my old oil from my mega motor. I just put all the old oil out, put it here in because I said I will not put new oil in uh, just to see if it starts or not. So I keep it running. Uh, was also riding it like it is now a little bit just for two minutes um, just to see if I can all hit the gears and see if everything is okay and yeah then I stop it and put it to the side now I finish my GS as I have also it with 50 GS and now I want to rebuild this thing so yeah this was the history about this bike how it came to Europe and everything, I can't really tell, but it was uh, Motor Plaza, the dealer, and I, they imported it, and yeah, I will import it now in Austria, so it's, it's quite expensive, but yeah, it's, it's, an, it's a nice bike, so we will keep it. And yeah, uh, it's already a little bit apart because, as I said, I make a deal with my German friend uh, that uh, he can have the uh, ex extra parts like the HPM tank and some other stuff where I don't need them or I don't want them and he sold mainly all parts of them. So, yeah, and I will rebuild it what it looks now I will rebuild in original way so as every enduro will look or looks like I was thinking to do a rally mode on the bike uh, but I'm still not sure if I will do it or not so yeah the H the HPQ enduro so maybe maybe when you watch this video I think you know what the HP2 is and if it's a, it's something where I can say a person uh, that I have recently met on Facebook, uh, he wrote that the first HP2 is like your first million dollars. If you own the first one, it's not difficult to own the second one. And I can I can really agree with that because. It's, it's something, for me, it was something special to own a HP2. My first bike was a HP2 Megamoto. Uh, also from a first owner, really good care and it was in a really good shape with many extras on it. And he just sold it and, and because he said I'm too old for it already and bought, it, uh, bought himself a Porsche Turbo S. So, yeah. Uh, now I'm waiting only for my Turbo S because mainly all bikes that I own, uh, the previous owners had a Porsche. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, I have seen the first time the HP2 on the motor show in Vienna as I was oh, 11 or 12 years old, something like that. And I go there, I was going there with my father because I was already. Uh, driving motorcycles as I was four years old and or I started to drive motorcycles as I was four years old and so it, it, it's a part of me it's my whole life until now and I will keep it like that so yeah I have seen the HP2 and I say that I, I need to have this bike as I was in my time as I was 11 years old and my father told me that you need to work hard and uh, own a big money to get it because at that time it was really a huge number because in Austria it was for the mega moto uh, 90,500 euros and almost the same for the enduro so you think today yeah today it's like every bike costs 20,000 euros but at that time it was so that you need to think you have no on the enduro you have no abs no traction control nothing really that makes you safe driving and yeah uh so you don't have anything and uh some people were joking hp me means just high price <laughs> uh 
because uh, it's only a GS uh, that has la like less uh, weight, but HP2 is not just only a GS. HP2 uh, is something really special for me, and I can say I have never met a person that is owning a HP2 and will not agree with that. So yeah, um, uh, as I was 11 years, I have seen the HP2 and then I, I was 20, uh, I think I was 23 or 22, I think 22 years old and I bought the Mega Moto. So with 11 years later, around about 11 or 10 years later, I bought my first HP2. Before that I had an Aprilia and some other bikes, but yeah, I bought my dream bike. And from then, my story started and now I'm here. And try now to show a little bit some other guys uh, uh, what's so special about the HP2, what you can do on the HP2, um, what what are what are mods that you need to do or you can do or just nice to have and in a real waste of money but yeah uh, there are many ways to explain things but yeah i will try to, uh, to do it in videos because videos are more uh common nowadays and people are, don't want to read like two hours of something and I don't want to, to, to write something down and it's just easier to speak to a camera and show you a little bit of my things or what I want to do. So yeah, um, my second HP2 I have owned it in 2020 and then in this year in after no year uh, I have bought this bike so yeah in real you can say every second year I bought the HP2 and uh, the only dream I have is to drive or own a HP2 Sport just to have them all or just to drive a HP2 Sport but yeah um, so I hope you enjoyed the first start of my YouTube channel career <laughs> and in the next episode I will show you more about the bike, what I will do, also the first uh, disassembly of the bike. So I hope you are well and see you next time. Bye!